Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I want to show you how to find the least common multiple and greatest common factor or greatest common divisor means the same thing on your TI-84+. Plus. In order to do this, you're going to use the math button here. And then once you get into the math button, you're going to go one to the right at the top to the number. And then you can't see it here. I'm going to go scroll up because I think it's faster. You can see number eight is LCM. I can just hit number eight. It'll take me here, LCM, least common multiple. This is important that you put in your comma here and your six. And in this case, if I hit enter without finishing off my parentheses, it's okay. I think it's a good practice to just put those parentheses in, but sometimes a calculator lets you get away with that. What that says is that 15 and six both go into 30, and it's the first number that they both go into. I can do the same thing again, go over one to number. I can just hit eight. If I know eight is the number, I can scroll around till I find it. For 22 comma 8, if I do finish the parentheses, it's going to do fine for that. The first number they both go into is 88. And you can see here for 7 and 9, when you have two numbers that neither one of them have any factors that you could possibly have in common, to get that, you're just going to multiply those two together and get 63. But if you didn't know that, then you could put that in your calculator to get it. Okay, greatest common divisor, that is the greatest number that goes into both of those. Not They, they don't go into the number, the number goes into them. I'm going to do the same thing here, hit math, then go over to numbers. If I scroll up, I can see the GCD is number 9, so I'm going to hit 9, 120, comma, 18. Finish your parentheses or not, that's up to you. And that's going to give you 6, and that tells you that the greatest factor they have in common is 6. Both of those are divisible by, so 6 is a divisor of those numbers. I'm going to do that again, math, go over 1 to number, and then I'm just going to hit 9 because I know it's 9, but again you can scroll around to find that 75 comma 105 parentheses, and that tells you that 15 is the greatest common divisor for those two numbers. Those might be easier to find when the numbers get bigger. It might be a little bit harder, so I think it's nice to know how to do this. Math over 1. I'm going to hit 9 for GCD, and I'm going to enter the 128 and the 192. I don't need to finish that off. It's going to tell me that the greatest common factor is 64. So really a nice thing to use sometimes, especially when you're working with fractions. Have a fantastic day. And I'll see you next time. If you'd like to see more videos about the TI-84+, please check out the playlist in the description of this video.